See, not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I... Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I'll commend you to the Chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Ooh, did anyone hear what I just said? A gate? It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. This isn't the first time. It's that same type of robot again! Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? But we were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Um, it wasn't as fun as you think. Indeed. And that little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself. It doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well... Let's find her. Svarog's not going anywhere. Uh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. Fighting is meaningless. Told you I could fight. I'm no interest in conflict. Tough luck running into me. You don't look so good. Couldn't have done it without me. <laughs> My turn. Let's go. You don't look so good. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Tough luck running in. 
Past victories don't guarantee future ones. that was following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh, it's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self-repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop target must be in. Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. This will strengthen our... Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara! We have to save her! Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. Just a scratch. Move carefully. Much better. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move! Too late to repent. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Let's go. I'll try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? Th thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. Huh? What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Sparg doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. 
Um, I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarog doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results, so I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarog and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you... <sighs> Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarog's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarog. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the Underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? I'll definitely return the favor, but not like this. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. <sighs> then good luck persuading that mass of metal. Clara mentioned Svarok's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation, and we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? <sighs> There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. She turned that way, quick! Let's make it quick. Huh. Much better. Uh. Fighting is meaningless. Uh. 
Tough luck running into me! Past victories don't guarantee future ones. That enemy certainly isn't friendly. This will strengthen our position. Freeze! Move carefully. My turn! The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. <laughs> Here. Rules are made to be broken. No interest in conflict. Tough luck running into me! <laughs> Let's go! Try that again! This is our chance! Truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Let's make it quick. Let me tend your wounds. Fire Much better. Ah! It's more than that. You can't run. Fighting is meaningless. Broken. Let's go. Interesting conflict. My turn. Yes. 
The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let's go. Huh. Uh, 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 Defeat with that over! One more at best. <laughs> Too late to repent. Good stuff! Let's make it quick. <laughs> Time to show you what's in your prescription! Fighting is meaningless. This is our chance. Rules are made to be broken. Huh. See the doctor? Don't worry about me. The truth of life and death reveal the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let me tend your wounds. I told you they were sick. Don't worry about me. Time this was in your prescription! Choose me strike. No interest in conflict. Fighting is meaningless. Let's make it quick. Yeah. My turn. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Keep looking.
so good. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Looks good. We need a strategy. This will strengthen our position. A little something for everyone! Move carefully. Let's go. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Luck of the draw. Please, and... <gasps> Victory! Let's make it quick. Rules are made to be broken. Truth of life and death. Prove the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <laughs> Don't worry about me. I've no interest in conflict. Fighting is meaningless. This can't be. Here's my strike. Stay off. When they keep quiet, they come. <laughs> No interest in conflict. Let's make it quick. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Why won't...
Luna. Ah, oh, I can't figure it out. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. You keep saying that, but... Are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Huh? How did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Svarog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Svarog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah, I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this. Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. <laughs> Difficult? Whoa, it lit up. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no need. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... We gonna convince her. The present situation is uh, we're here. This planet isn't doomed after all. Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well, uh you do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Svarog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the Underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included variables like us. You know? Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made up stories that grown ups like to tell. I don't. She and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya, do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right?
right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Mm. I... <sighs> okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarok. Really? Awesome! Mm, I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarok's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes and... Fighting, just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Sparog, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing, I just said what I truly felt. <laughs> Timmy. Welcome back, Miss Clara. Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Svarog. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Uh, if you can... Please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? I'm back, Mr. Svarog. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Svarog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. An inadequate pretext. You are not from the underground. You have no right to represent underworld humanity. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Stellaron, searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron. But it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed. 
attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target threat index critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. Target hostility significantly exceeds base index. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. Mr. Sparog, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring automaton Svarag. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Purge initiated. <laughs> Executing operation. Move carefully. Don't. <laughs> My turn. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Batter up! Looks like somebody needs a doctor. <laughs> Gotta get those vitamins! Executing annihilation. <laughs> Calculating result. You don't think more than that. are made to be broken. Put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield. All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Nat, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing all subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Executing operation. Move carefully. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. Try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Yeah. Hiya. Push forward. Analysis complete. Uh, you can't run. Evaluating variables. I have no interest in conflict. Let's go. Fighting is meaningless. Need a doctor? The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let me tend your wounds. Hiya! This is our chance. Don't worry about me. Let's make it quick. Ha! Executing operation. 
Life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let me tend your wounds. Stay off! Let's go. Yeah. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Fighting is meaningless. Good job! Need a doctor? <laughs> Reinforce it. Value it seems threshold. Uh -huh. Try that again. Evaluating variables. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Family. any further. Can you tell them what you know? Mr. Sparog, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like... Like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable 1. Clara's request. Variable 2. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... so we did it? Yeah, without her, even if we defeated Sparog, there's no way he'd have given us access to the intel, right? I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zila. Our battle. Their battle. It's just beginning. Finally. 
We finally made it to this point. Uh, what's up? Nervous? No. But... I do have an aching feeling in my chest. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? Requesting database materials cache, serial number 13175. Encryption level, highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so called Stellaron is the source all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're... you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. This Supreme Guardian... She... She sees further than you or I. All the decisions are not for the security of Bella Bark. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <coughs> don't... don't be upset, child. You... You still have lots of time ahead of you. Uh, when you find a way to destroy... <coughs> destroy the Stellaron, uh, our efforts will have been worth it. Cache number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number... Five, seven, six, one, four. This is... Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. 
Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. So, the truth is clear now, right? <sighs> And it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just... I feel a little faint. mother. Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. Hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Worth our while. Furnace core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. <laughs> Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the Underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. <laughs> when the Underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we Undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the Underground. If she detects any change in the Underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. No, but we need to wait for the opportune moment. In the meantime, I'm sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila! Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. 
you're right. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Equilibrium. The universe should be in equilibrium. The arbiters of the equilibrium are giving you a trial. For the equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your strength. The strong will be given greater opportunities. The weak, a chance to breathe. Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards after equilibrium. You will go on to face yet more trials. Equilibrium. It is for this that all worlds change. No better. interesting conflict. My turn. Let's make it quick. You don't look so good. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. <laughs> 